I had plans today, but I'm canceling them. Welcome to the world's first massive multiplayer online open world puzzle game called Islands of Insight. It's basically just a bunch of puzzles in an open world. They're really well designed and it's a lot of fun. I mean, it feels like the world's first video game made for me. Holy sh shave. Oh, hey, a logic puzzle. Uh, screw that. Uh, I gotta connect all the dark cells. So there's either light or dark markings. And then area numbers must equal region size. Well, one is simple because you could just mark off the regions around it. So close it in as one. The twos are pretty simple. They must connect like this and then be closed off. And if all the darks must be connected, it would go like that. This must be dark then, this must be dark. You cannot have two different numbers in the same region because the region can only have one size and having two separate sizes doesn't make any sense. Then goes with the eight and four. Eight must really extend for a bit. And then the dark must again connect with the other dark. So I guess we're making the size eight here. Four must extend out. Probably connecting with the other four actually. That would make sense. Two would connect like this then. Then these dark cells gotta come around and connect. And actually that does work. Well, I suppose this works too. Ooh, a puzzle solved. Let's see, what other puzzles do I wanna solve? Where do I even go? Maybe into whatever this thing is? Yeah, what well, puzzles await me here? Well, a red and green box puzzle, which normally means you find a box with a similar symbol on this and stand in the one spot where you can see them both. But that's kind of something you come across when you come across. Like now, there it is. What is upstairs? Oh, another match three puzzle. These are deceptively tricky. So the idea is you have to swap two tiles to get three in a row, vertically or horizontally. I guess in that case, it happened to be both, but like a three in a row that's an elbow macaroni is no good. And if you try to swap two that don't create a three in a row, they won't swap and you gotta get rid of all of them. So doing this is bad because that leaves one green and you can't have a single one alone. I mean, I suppose you could connect to those, but then it gets a little tough because now we're, we have an island. I can't connect these ever. How about this? Three greens in a row here. What about this blue in the bottom left? When is that ever going to meet up with anybody? Maybe I should think about that. Yeah, these two blues are probably the crux of the puzzle. They're so out of place. I don't know. I guess I can actually start with it. Maybe just out of sight, out of mind. And again, I can't do four greens in a row. Um, I gotta be careful here. Oh, this will get uh, three in a row both. Okay, not bad. Still, I obviously don't play ma many match threes, so I struggle with those. Oh no, okay. What is this? A region full of match threes. Well, it's time to get good. Okay, so the crux is the light green is really separated from the rest. So I've got to spend a lot of moves moving this left to right, like a lot of moves. But also there's only five dark greens. Interesting. Well, I could do this. Actually, this is really satisfying. This is a really satisfying solution. Wow. Cool. Okay, help me get better. What is this piece? I have no idea, but I'm gonna take some of the most obvious moves I can make right now and start with that. Can I swap? I can't swap with that. I think it's just in the way. Well, it's losing. Yeah, maybe I gotta pick the right battles here. It's tough to do. Actually, that lines up really well. Okay. Yeah, it's just a nothing tile. Don't have to worry about it. I'm starting to get a little better. There's more nothing tiles, more journeys that have to be made, huh? Well, this can't swap with anything in the beginning. Can I swap much? Like, the only move I see right now is this, which doesn't actually let me get closer. Another move I have is this, which might actually do something for me, because I could get those blues. And then I can start moving over this green. Aha. There we go. Perfect. The wall continues. Olive green is on one hell of a journey. Mm, here's what I'm thinking right now. These three greens, they're pretty hard to match up, I imagine. I would imagine it have to be three in a row right here, horizontally. That sounds pretty tough. I feel like the best thing I can do is start like this, and I can't swap with void. I don't know, that, that might leave a disaster. Wait. Wait. Oh, there we go. Got it horizontally. Nice. Okay, getting a lot of blockades. There's a lot of options here. I don't know where to begin. I guess the crux of the problem is these two. They got to somehow meet up with their third. Okay, well, I could work on the gradual journey for that. Oh, and also these three. Yeah, I got to be very careful because if that falls down too far, it's game over. 
I like starting like this. I like getting that done first, but then I probably got to do more magenta ones next. Like what I was thinking was getting three in a row. No, you can't match these greens. Can't do it. That's losing two, but it might not lose yet. I can still swap this. I can still bring this green up. I can still swap. I can still swap. Oh, find the crux of the puzzle. Solve that. Look for things there's only three of. Look for things that are hard to get to. This really doesn't have much of either. I mean, there's three of these symbols. Three of these symbols. Okay, these three are hard to get to and pretty far away. I was gonna say this, otherwise just a big puzzle. I could maybe start by lowering some stuff. Swap this lowered a lot. Get another three. Gotta be careful here, actually. Because there's four of them. That's kind of awkward. I could swap now. And then set up a four in a row, three in a row. I'm gonna actually leave this swap for later. Just because I don't need to do it yet. I guess I can get the greens while I still can. These easily. A little dangerous here, but I think it actually lines up really cleanly. Okay, nice. That wasn't as intimidating as it looked. Did I level up? Oh, a Mirabilis. And this, what this does, it unlocks more islands because this world is massive. I, I want to unlock more of it. Oh, this is curious. What kind of weird perspective messery is this? How do you line up? Stand maybe up here? What are you? What are you? A light pattern. New kind of puzzle. Uh, more of these cubes. Uh, do I recognize this symbol from anywhere? Maybe from down below? No, that's a different symbol down there. Wait, no, that's the same symbol. Wait, how do I get both in the same shot? Because that's way down here. Maybe I have to get higher up? But this is nested way back in here. How is this possible? Maybe, maybe I do have to go higher up? Oh, I maybe do. Yeah, there's that puzzle, so you can link it like that. You just gotta be able to get them both. I love the zoom in function. That is unbelievably helpful. A three pip logic puzzle. Yes, please. Connect all dark cells and area numbers must equal their region sizes. So I could have size three like this. It's an okay idea. It's just a little suspicious. Here's what I know. There's gonna have to eventually be more dark cells. So the whole grid cannot be light cells. So I'll start with like dark cells kind of getting their way out. That means I do connect the light cells and that means I connect more light cells. Again, the dark must continue. And honestly, that probably means I just do this with light. Felt more like a two pipper, but that's also my specialty. What is this? Is this a hidden cube? A Mirabilis fragment. What is this? Off by one. What is this? Logic puzzle? Oh, all numbers are off by one, but the area numbers must equal their region sizes. But all the numbers are one which means that all these are actually regions of size two. Now, size two means I can't do this because I would make a region of size three, so I can't have them be connected, but I must have them be connected like this, which seems to cascade very cleanly. Again, I can't connect the ones. I would make a region of size three, and I guess this is how it lines up, but there's more. So the two could either be a one or a three. Well, it can't be a one because it's already two, so it must be three. The three could be either a two or a four, or the four could be either a three or a five. Now I think it's a three, just because a five wouldn't fit. And I'll accept that the three is actually a two. A zero, that must be one, so I'll let that be. A one cannot be a zero, so it must be a two. A two could be one, and then a three could be two. This two here, it's either a one or a three, but it can't be a one because of its size. And I can't have a light here because I would make four, so it must be a three that's positioned here. Um, let's look at this five. It's either a four or a six, which means this can't be black. That would make it way too small. So this must be a five. And then the others, the four and three, just then cannot connect to the five. Because it would be sharing a region with a likely different number. Three and six cannot share the same region. There's no way for them to both be off by one and be the same number, creating a same size region. The three has to then be a size two. If it were size four, it would connect. The six must go out for quite a bit. It's either a five or a seven. And I think it actually must connect here. So this is already six, so it must be seven, which would look like that. 
7 is either a 6 or an 8. This is 4, 5, 6. I mean, it's easy if I just cap it off there. This 4 could be a 5. Nice. Another Mirabilis. Another Mirabilis. Just owning these gauntlets. Where's the next puzzle? Oh, another logic puzzle. I knew I'd find you. And a match 3 right behind it. Bigger blocks. Don't make a 2x2 two two in either white or black. And connect all dark cells. The way to do well in this is to look at when there's three out of four in a two by two and you make the fourth one the opposite color and you can whoops keep doing that to your heart's content you can actually keep doing that for a long time keep doing that for a long time just keep yeah blocking the fourth one keep blocking the fourth one now all dark cells must connect so the right side dark cells must make it up like this there we go Let's check this out. How bad is this match three puzzle? So there's six of the kind of blue greenish ones. So it means I've got to solve them in groups of three, I would think. But if I swap those, I could do so. I could do so again. Could continue to do so. Um. Hmm. See, I want to make this, but then there's an empty column. So I don't like that. Is that the only move I have? Not the only move I have. I also have this move. And then this move. And then this move. And then the- Okay, there we go. There we go. That lines up nicely. Surprised they don't rate these in difficulty. Level up. Puzzle solver level 8. Ooh, taking me to a uh, vortex to maybe see options. Yeah, there's a lot I could do here. Oh, I'm at the base of the big pyramid. I didn't even notice. Oh, so I gotta complete a trial probably, huh? Oh, what's this over here? Is this a mini poof? It is. Mini poof. This is the base of the pyramid. You can't even see the whole thing because it's so big. Never mind that. I gotta solve this puzzle. Find a click that sees through every gold ring, but none of the purple rings. So you gotta probably see it from the side. Maybe this one? There we go. Oh, even the bottom of the pyramid's an area. What's down here? Oh, green and red cube. Which, hold on. Is it blocked by a different puzzle thing? No, it just happened to be there. There's a three pip logic puzzle down here. Hell yeah. Area numbers must equal region sizes. Well, the one solves itself. It's a non-standard grid. Hmm. They're actually not giving me much to work with here. I mean, I might as well take advantage of the space down here for six. Like, as much as possible. Take advantage of this for four. Yeah, keep taking advantage of as much space as this game will let me have. And, whoops, that can solve a puzzle. Again, felt like a two-pipper. But maybe there's, like, a four-pip that's, like, obscenely challenging. I uh, what is this? What the? This is a trippy as hell. Okay, is it, like, match the shape? <laughs> match the fractal? Okay, I did it. New puzzle. Morphic Fractal. Oh, there's a thing on the wall here. These are cool, because it's like, you really don't notice them until you, like, start looking for them, and then you really start noticing them. Oh, sh <laughs> Hey, buddy. Hey, other buddy. How's it going? Oh, I got a quest. Nice. See, it feels like, to me, like I've got to get to a higher ground for this. Oh, hold on. We got rings. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. I see you. There you go. And a match three. Puzzles everywhere. So, looks like the pinkish ones are going to be the trickiest. Though there's six of these, so I can't do four in a row. I can do three in a row just fine. Um, I just got to figure out how on earth... I'm gonna connect. Oh, actually, that could do something. Mm, no, I think this leaves me stuck. I'm gonna get three in a row and then be sad. So that's not it. The seven green ones trip me up. Yeah, that, that one's tough, it would seem. I don't know, but I still think the crux of the problem is, in fact, the pink ones. See, this swap just feels like a trap. Because the second I do it, all I have left is sadness. Fuck you, match three. Think logic. See into the future. 
at some point, pink here has got to go right. I feel like the most logical thing to swap it with would be a blue. But when I do that, there's no way that it will solve anything immediately. So maybe I have to swap it with something like a green that could solve something then? What would a green solve? Maybe just one of these pinks need to go left. Maybe that's the catch. Right, let me try something. Swap this here. I could swap this too. Damn it, I've been here before. Ah, match three still bests me. Don't know why that type of puzzle is so hard for me. Oh, ooh, new puzzle. No, it's a ton of logic puzzles. All right, this is my stuff. Don't make a three by three of black cells. Easy enough. Okay, chain of them. This is actually my expertise. Connect all dark cells and no two by two of black. Well, simple enough. This feels almost tutorial-esque. Again, no two by two of black, so don't do that or uh, black there. But I do need all dark cells connected which looks like that. And it's the same rules again. So again, just make sure don't create a two by two, no two by two. Connect them all, which at least looks like this. And I mean, this looks clean. Oh, I'm gonna level up so much with this. All right, same rules, same rules. It looks like it shouldn't be too hard. Mmm. But no, black has to get out from the left. So we're looking at all these being black. All of them. Nice. Okay, they really want us to master this. Well, okay, there's some two by twos already in place. So you can rule those out. Slowly get closer. This would make a two by two. This would make a two by two. This is fine. This is fine. Must come out from that way. Must come out from this way. Must connect. Can't connect here, so it looks like it'd go around like that. Oh, there are four difficulty ones, but first I gotta get through the three difficulty ones, which are again huge. This would create a two by two. This would create a two by two. This would create two by twos. These numbers, eight, two, four, zero, six, five, nine. There's a three in here as well. So there's also a seven. Okay, that's just cool puzzle design. It, it doesn't mean anything, it's every number. That is really cool puzzle design. That is genuinely impressive. What the hell? Wow, fair play. That is undeniably cool. Well, I mean, whoops, gotta make sure the blacks connect. This would create a two by two. Oops. Keep pressing the wrong button on accident. Wrong mouse button, but that is a really cool setup. Oh, I leveled up again. Oh, a Mirabilis. I haven't even continued the gauntlet. I haven't even finished it. All right, this one seems like a worthy challenge because there's no obvious moves to begin with. There's nothing I could click that would instantly create a two by two. Okay, a bit of a challenge. You gotta remember they have to connect. I think that's the real catch. In what direction do they connect? Well, I think you can actually kind of rule out some ones in the middle. Imagine if this were black, then one of these two would have to be black, but either one would create a two by two. So this has to be white. So that means the black has to come around this way. No two by two, no two by two. And now, whoops, wrong button again. Now we just rule out the two by twos. Rule out the two by twos, that's good. It just takes an initial breakthrough. Where would I even want to start? See, it feels like to me, the best way to start is just, if I were to have this be black, I mean, I couldn't have a two by two. two no two by two here, but this is valid. No two by two here, but this is valid. No two by two here, but this is valid. Must continue the path. No two by two here, this is valid. No two by two, valid, valid. Looking good. Two left. Gotta connect all four corners. Seems like a simple puzzle where like you kind of connect the sides and then you figure out how to connect the middle like that. I mean, that already connects them all. And all right, the hardest one yet. It's small, but it's hard. Hmm. See, I'm seeing a path right now. Does that do it? It connects them all. I don't see any two by twos. Damn it. I figured you'd do some sort of diagonal connection. It just seems like something they would have done at a tier four puzzle. Oh my God, I'm collecting these like, I don't know, things you collect like baseball cards. Oh, and rewarded with another tier three logic puzzle. Oh, but this one's area numbers. They must equal the region size as well. Okay, eight and six can't be in the same region. Um, This is a 20 size region and the numbers add up to 20. So every single cell must correspond to one of the numbers, and that's how you do it. Oh, hidden arch. 
you can't stop solving puzzles because every time you see a, a finish a puzzle, you always see like 30 more. <laughs> I want them all and I will get them all next time. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed more of this coming soon. Hope you all have a wonderful day and peace.